All right, I want to show you a cool tutorial, something that um, has recently come up as I'm going through with clients. I've got some people that I've been working with, teaching them how to use Camtasia, building videos, building out YouTube. Uh, we've helped a lot of people do that, but I've, we've always tried to say, okay, well, how do you create <clears throat> your thumbnails or your images or anything, maybe even Facebook ads. So we refer them to programs like Canva, you know, Photoshop, or, you know, at the very least PowerPoint, or even if you really needed to Microsoft Word, but then it hit me, uh, you can actually use uh, your Camtasia software to build your own images for either your videos or even your ads. So I'm gonna show you just, uh, I'm gonna just pull up some of my stuff here. Um, <clears throat> If you look at these guys here, these are videos that I have, and you can see there's, you know, my older videos here, uh, the style of those, you're looking at what they do, you know, this is the one um, right here, spin selling, that's what we've got there, but it, I would take an image out of my video, I'd screenshot it, put it into Photoshop, then I would build these, this, this lettering in Photoshop and do this, it took a lot of work to build all of these. More recently, I've got into um, using the, uh, uh, an animation that I have in Camtasia to do that and then use that as a thumbnail so those ones there but there's a lot of work that goes into doing this so if you don't have your animation set up these can actually be your bumper uh, your bumper uh, things that come in the video beginning of your um, your uh, video so we've got this one here like I always recommend if you're gonna do a zoom thing you can put images like you can put letters over that and then if you go up to here this is the one I just created uh, for a, a little course that I was doing and this one I did in PowerPoint uh, or PowerPoint in a Photoshop so what I want to show you is actually in Camtasia let's pull up Camtasia hey there we go there's me I was showing somebody how to do it and I said you can actually make it any size you want so normally you're probably gonna edit a video in Camtasia at the default HD settings so if you go up to here it's up at the top click on here you click project settings now if you're going regular HD that's what an HD video looks like you apply that <coughs> We interrupt this video for a special announcement. All right, so I recorded this video and then I went to upload the video. So this is like a weird inception kind of thing. I went to upload the video to YouTube and when I try to use the thumbnail, uh, it says you have to have your thumbnails less than two megabytes. So that means that you don't want to have it in full HD because it was 2.1 megabytes. And I'm going to show you that if I go here. Uh, so this was actually the thumbnail that I'm using for this. So the full HD is right here and you can see it's 2.1 one megabytes and so this is the one that we want so we got that down by half so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do that so if your thumbnail is too big and you want to edit it basically all you need to do is just I mean because we're talking about the cheaters way to do this I don't recommend you create everything this way but this is a cheater way to do it to keep it simple so let's go back in here we're gonna go here uh, so any of you like image editors all that stuff I know this isn't ideal let's get Photoshop Illustrator I get it I get it I get it don't bug me because I don't care um, we're gonna go like this so instead of 1080p we're gonna go 720p and we're gonna apply it and we're just gonna take this and we're because you know you're seeing I'm gonna make this as my thumbnail for there so now when we export that frame we're gonna get the right size so that when we upload it to YouTube, you can use this. So that's essentially what we had to change. And so, yeah, that's just my note here that I found out after I finished the video. So now before I published it, I went back and started all over and re-edited this video. So you're welcome. That's all from the update desk. Continue watching your video. And let's say this is what your video looks like. You can put text and everything on there, but what I did with that one, is I did, let's do this again. Dun, dun, dun. I said, well, what if we try to do a 500 by 500? Or you wanna do a Facebook ad? You can actually do all of your image editing in Camtasia if you actually just tried that. So you can take a video. So I'm gonna show you from scratch what you could do. So I'm gonna go file, new project. I do not wanna save my Joe's smart one. I'm gonna import media. Now I just went outside and recorded a video of me uh, doing something stupid so that I could see if I could get you to do this. So there's a couple of things. Look at this video. Oh, this guy is cool. All right, let's see if this even works. There I am in my backyard and uh, jump. Hey, there's my video. Okay, so that's the video. Now, what I want to do is create a thumbnail for this. So, what we're going to do, we're going to find the frame that goes like this. Now, you might hear some music in the background. My fiance 
is, oh, well, I missed the frame. Let's go back. So let's say we want that frame. You're going to hear music in the background. That's my fiance teaching ballet. Hey, look, at that's a pretty good jump. She's teaching ballet class. So I've got the ballet music happening in the background. So don't let it distract you from this fantastic video I'm making uh, and want to take her class. So now this is what I want to do. So here's what you can do. Let's take annotations and I'm just going to take a shape and I want to take this shape and I'll put it right here. But now we're in here. And so what we can do, you can either have it like, let's say you want to have, well, if you want to do a full screen, you can have a full black screen like that. And you could put lettering over, but we're going to, we're going to do cooler than that. We want to go like this and we want that. So maybe that's going to be our, like our title thing that we do, right? We could take this video. Maybe we want to line it up like that. Okay. So now we go there, we've got this, that's our frame. And what we can do here, we're gonna grab this, put that there. I'm gonna say, all right, we're gonna call this Jumpin' Joe's Tips. And guess what, you can tr control the font, we're gonna make this bigger. I wanna left align that because I want that to go like that. I wanna know if I can get maybe to there if I move that in a little bit. Oh baby. So that's what I want that to look like. And maybe a little bit bigger. So this is my my latest tip that I'm gonna do. And you know what? I wanna have a bit of a subtitle in there. All right, so you can have your subtitle in there. You can do whatever you want. It looks like that. And we maybe go like this. And make it bigger. We want that left align. And maybe make it a bit bigger. Maybe spin this in here. And look at that. We've designed a thumbnail. And the cool thing about that is that you can actually move your video around and find the right one that you want. See if I just drag this around. So you can have multiple thumbnails. Now you could also use this as an intro thing. So you could, so one of the things you could do is so like right here, right here you know, before I tell you the next tip, let's go like this. So we've got Jumpin' Joe's tips. Oh, what did I do? Control Z. I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna share and just export this frame as another episode of Jumpin' Joe's tips.png. And that's going to go in there. So now because that is the right size of the video, it's automatically going to be that size. So I'm going to go like this. But here's what we can do that's really cool. If I take these and I group them, so I highlight those three things, I group them. You know what I could do in my videos? I could go like this. This is where it's kind of really an interesting thing is I can take this and I can say, you know what? Jumpin' Joe's tips is a really cool thing to have. And I want that as my intro. So I'm going to do this as a transition. I'm going to do this, add that there. And now, it's even worse. It's even worse. boom, Jumpin' Joe's tips. So I can actually use that as my animation at the beginning, right? Boom. So that's what we're doing. You can do all sorts of stuff like that. And But what is cool about this, doing it in Camtasia, is if we take this group, we can now, so you can use that as an animation. You can use whatever you want. You can have the words fly in. You can do tons of stuff with that. So you can animate each one of these things if you wanted to, you know, have them come in at different, you know, at different, uh, so we're going to do this. Another silly idea maybe comes in. Oh, we're going to un, let's do this. Close the group, ungroup. So I'm just showing you some really interesting things you could do. Now we're going to go like this. We're going to have this come in. We're going to have that. Come in. Well, how do we want to do? Let's go slide right on this. Slide right, slide right. This one's gonna slide left, but this one's gonna slide right at the end. And then this whole thing is going to glow. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so that's your opening. But now you can take this, and if you want, so now you've got this right here, this part of the frame where there's no fading. That's where you would just hover over the part that you want. So if I find the thumb, like where I want this, all 
My jump is pretty good, by the way. Look at that Joe guy right there. So now, again, I can just go like this and share and export that frame. So now I use this, but here's what the cool part. I go. Like I said, I think I said that five times. You go here, right click, add to library. We can call this Jumping Joe's Tips Thumbnail. Not thumbnail, that's pretty good. Thumbnail template. So now, if I don't have this, so now I import my new video, and if I start from scratch, I'm gonna start a new project. I don't wanna save that. But now I go, okay, so next time, this is all about just being able to do stuff faster. I'm gonna take my video, I'm gonna open that. There it is, I put it in here, and I, oh, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna put that video down on the timeline. I'm going too fast for my own good. Now I'm going to find that frame that I like. Hey, look at this Joe guy. He's jumping and he gives good tips. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to go into, so we're up in the media bin. Click on this, the list of assets. Guess what? We've got Jumpin' Joe's tips thumbnail template. We're going to put that right there. And we're going to put that there. But hey, we want to move this video over. So I'm going to move that there. And now I've done Jumpin' Joe's tips. I can do that anytime I want. But I'm going to go like this. I'm going to expand that. And I'm going to edit this text. So now we can do this. And now you've got that. So you can also say, hey, I want this shape. I don't mind all that, but guess what? I can go up here and in the shape, maybe today we're doing it red, right? And you can also add visual effects like drop shadow on that. Um, so if you want this shape to have a drop shadow you can click this little button here and you can see the effects that you've got on that so now jumping joe's tips there we go we've got that and again i can then export so i've got that i'm just going to wherever this cursor is here i'm going to export that as a frame so now right away i'm going to call this jumping joe's tips I call that Jumbo Joe's tips number two. And that's how we're going to do it. So then if I then go and create a YouTube video, we'll talk about that another time. But if I go and do a YouTube video, now I've got the Jumpin' Joe's tips there. I can use this one. I can use this one. So now you can have all your different videos look exactly the same way so that when you're in YouTube and your users look like that, you can now have a nice branded experience. This is one... I did earlier so you can do all that now here's let's go one more one more jumping joe's tips um we're going to talk about doing uh so let's say you're doing youtube and you want to build uh what's called a uh, a channel art banner uh, i'm just going to look at the dimensions here a channel art banner so let's go this we're going to do file uh no you know what uh, you know we might even be able to do it here let's go this file project settings and this is where it gets kind of kinky because you can do a whole bunch of stuff we're going to make they're going to click this button to unlock it and we're going to go to 2560 by 1440 by 1440. Is that what I want? Yeah. So now, if we do that, we can now make channel art for our, our system. And if I wanted to do, let's say, media, I can add logos. I can go into here. I can look up, say, my Change, Grow, Achieve logo. I don't know, man. Like, whatever you want to do. Let's, let's pull that logo up there with a circle. And you can add that in there. You can make that whatever size you want. All right. So there's a bunch of ways that you can make your channel art. And you could do this. And you can size it however you want. All right, you do that. Jump and Joe's tips on YouTube. You can say, find me for more. And now, guess what? You've got kind of a video editing software option. And if I went like this, I don't know. There we go. That's what we've got. And then I can take this. I'm going to take just this one. And I'm going to edit that. So that goes all the way across. So there you go. So now you've basically just done a uh, an editor. Uh, and a photo editor and you just export 
all you can export that frame and do whatever you want with it so now this is an easy way to use Camtasia to do your photo editing and your title slides and do advertisements all that kind of stuff so I hope you like that um, that's the cheaters way to not having to pay for more software the other part is that when you get good at doing stuff like this it's gonna make you even stronger when you do your video editing so enjoy that have fun and we'll talk to you I guess next time